All right, well, good evening, everyone. Merry Christmas. All right, uh, before we start off, um, if you would, uh, please turn off or silence your cell phones. Um, the only music we're going to be singing tonight is carols, not your latest ringtone, okay? <laughs> so, um, also, it has been a, let's, let's just say a, an interesting year so far. It's almost over, maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, but I was introduced something uh, kind of funny, and so I want to share it with you. It's about a minute and a half to two minutes long. We're just going to do it real quick. It's a little um, twist on Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is just for fun. So if anything it, sa it says in there is offensive to you, I am That's sorry. That's tough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a fun little thing, so the boys are going to play that over the – was the night before Christmas and all through the place, every smile was hidden by a mask on each face. To see Christmas morning they hardly could wait, all gathered together in groups no more than eight. And making quite sure that every single germ was dead, there was no scent of Christmas, only Lysol instead. But oh my my, oh well well, does it really even matter? We've all lost our sense of smell. Amazon brought all our boxes to town. We got out the Clorox and wiped them all down. Mom glued to her laptop, online shopping in a trance, while the kids were rehearsing their next TikTok dance. Then we all took a vote who was naughty, who was nice. But the results were disputed because some voted twice. With each sugar cookie, my weight, it did mount. So I yelled to the scale, I demand a recount. Less money for spending, but oh, what the heck. Maybe next year they'll send us a stimulus check. The children finally nestled snug in their beds as nightmares of virtual learning danced in their heads. And mothers and fathers exhausted aplenty, bowed their heads and gave thanks. We survived 2020. Then down through the chimney with all of the loot came jolly old Santa in a hazmat suit. With a ho, 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 he said, I'll see you later. The governor closed Santa's workshop so you all get toilet paper. Yes, he quickly appeared, and then quickly he went. Santa Claus, the world's largest super spreader event. Now on Republican, on Democrat, on Independent too, this last part of the story is for me and for you. To a world that's in darkness, may we all be a light. A COVID Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Is, it, is this guitar on? Can you hear it? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let fields and songs employ. With all fields and floods, rock hills and plains. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat. The sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, no thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. The world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. As we continue, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for the opportunity to come and to sing 
Uh, Lord, we just lift you up and we ask that you move right now in our midst. And we thank you for the Lord Jesus that came to us. And so we praise you for that. And we move by your Holy Spirit right now. In your son's name, amen. Isaiah wrote in 714, he says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. In chapter 9, Isaiah writes, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and the peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Twenty-six through 38 reads in the sixth month of elizabeth's pregnancy god sent the angel gabriel to nazareth a town in galilee to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named joseph uh, joseph a descendant of david the virgin's name was mary the angel went to her and said greetings you who are highly favored lord the lord is with you mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be but the angel said to her do not be afraid mary you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus. He will be great, and you will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His, king, his kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who is said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. 
2, 1 through 7 reads, In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Canarius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky Look down where he lay, the little Lord Jesus asleep in the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love the Lord Jesus. Look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children our tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee there. 
Luke 2, 8 through 20 reads, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to on those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the sky with an angel's hopes proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Our herald angels sing glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Lord desires to feel him come, finding where his humble home. Veiled in flesh, the God is he, hail in care, deity. Please, as man with man to dwell, Jesus, Lord, Emmanuel. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Let us stand with angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy, mild, God and sinners reconciled. Hark the herald angels sing. Yeah. 
Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all of the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet was written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. We three kings of Orient Bearing gifts, we travel afar, field and fountain, mill and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of light, star. Yes. 
Through 14 reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of a human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. Would you stand for our last few songs? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all
Thank you all for coming tonight and singing Christmas carols and, and going through the word. And this is the thing Christmas is about God coming to us because we are in need of him. And the reality is, is we are, as the word says, that we are in darkness. And we can tell that we've had pretty much darkness for six or seven months now with all this virus and stuff going on. And it's been a hard time, but God comes for us because it, the word says that we are sinners in need of a savior. And the only way for us to accept this child, truly accept this child at Christmas that came for us, who became a man who died on the cross is to, to repent of our sins and to ask for forgiveness. And any the word says anyone that calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And it's that simple. That is the, the greatness of Christmas that we can come before God because God came before us. And so I want to invite you to put your trust in the Jesus as your Savior if you haven't done it this year, um, right now, um, through a prayer. And if you would bow your heads with me. And if you are 
desiring a relationship with God. And you've understood that you have sin in your life and you need this Savior. All you need to say is, God, forgive me for all the sin that I, I've committed against you. And Father, I thank you for Jesus dying and taking away my sin. And Lord, come into my life as my Savior. And help me to follow you by the power of your Holy Spirit the rest of my life. And Lord, thank you for anyone that would come to you tonight and anyone that would come to you tomorrow as we're celebrating Christmas. And Father, I ask as we're leaving here that we would carry Christmas with us. I've, I've seen and I've talked to so many people that they say it doesn't feel like Christmas. Father, help us to share the hope and joy that is in Christ with our neighbors, just like we have our light right now and we're sharing it with people around us. Help us to share the light of Christ in this dark world. Father, I pray for everyone in here that they would go and they would be safe. But first and foremost, they would know you as their Savior. And second, that you would take care of them on their way. And Lord, help us to have a great Christmas tomorrow. And we thank you for this time. We praise you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.